So in this video, I'm going to share with you four chat GPT prompts that are going to help you to channel your inner Dan Kennedy. So if you're not familiar with who Dan Kennedy is, he's the author of many, many books. This is one of my favorites, the ultimate sales letter. Uh, I recommend him for any study in marketing or advertising or direct response marketing. All right. He is responsible for making millions himself and also helping other entrepreneurs, and other business owners make millions themselves with his principles, with his frameworks, with his philosophies and how to structure uh, your marketing, your campaigns, your advertising, all of that. All right. So that's what we're going to be channeling today through chat GPT. All right. So let's get right into it. Number one, we're going to go through quotes of Dan Kennedy's and then we're going to uh, use those within some chat GPT prompts and some examples. Okay. So the first quote is people do not buy things for what they are. They buy things for what they do. They buy them for what they do, right? People don't buy things for the features of what something does. I don't buy this mug for a piece of, you know, uh, clay that's been in a kiln. I buy it to hold my coffee. I buy it for what it does for me, right? It's it's a cup of coffee that helps me uh, wake up in the morning, right? And it holds my coffee for that. So here's the prompt. I sell, insert your product or service, clearly articulate the problem this solves for my target customer, okay? So also, I'm gonna leave all these prompts in the description below for you to just copy paste and start using them today. And the example for this is, I am a local handyman. That's the example you just need to put in your product or service. Clearly articulate the problem this solves for my target customer. Because I see this time and time again, at least in my local Facebook groups. Uh, I'm in a couple different Facebook groups for, you know, local things. So what's happening in the area, uh, recommendations for uh, businesses that you might need or any anything that you could think of locally. And there's always handymen, hand, handy men. Yeah, there's always people that are asking about um, handyman services or promoting their handyman services. But I think a lot of people have trouble really articulating what a handyman does, right? Yeah, he might go in and hang a TV up for you or fix, you know, something small for you. But there's so much more to a handyman than just what you can think of, right? If you really go deep on what a handyman does and the benefits of a handyman, then they are really, really, really uh, valuable. And by doing this, by articulating this, you can substantially increase how much you can charge versus, let's say, 30 bucks an hour for a handyman. If you articulate all this stuff on a website or on a business card or uh, through social media, you can significantly charge more because I guarantee you are articulating and com communicating better than 99% of the other handyman out there. All right, so let's see. Uh, here is what this service solves. It's convenience, right? You call a handyman, have him come over. I'm still at work, you know, come over and fix this while I'm at work. I don't have time for it, right? Expertise. They have expertise in a ton of different uh, maintenance tasks uh, that re require certain skills and knowledge that maybe you might not have. I don't have all the expertise, all the knowledge in the world. I can look it up on, you on YouTube to find something to understand that expertise, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be able to, you know, fix a... Uh, a leaky sink uh, really quickly, right? As opposed to a handyman that's done it a thousand times. Okay, cost effectiveness. Hiring a specialized contractor for minor repairs can be expensive, but as a handyman, you offer a cost effective alternative as you carry out a wide range of tasks at a reasonable price. Preventative care, right? Regular maintenance can prevent small issues from becoming major issues. Okay, how important is that to communicate that to a target customer? Home value, by maintaining the property and making necessary repairs, homeowners can maintain and increase the value of their homes. Trust, uh, as a local handyman, you're part of the community. One-stop solution, right? You call one person, you make one phone call and you get all these little things around your house done, completed, fixed, as opposed to having to make five different phone calls. Emergency services, uh, in case of emergency repair need, you're just a call away. All right, customized solutions, okay? And every home and homeowner has unique needs. You provide tailored solutions that best suit each individual's requirements and budgets, okay? So that's the first one, really understanding what it is that people are buying from you, right? People are not just buying a handyman service. They are buying all those things that were just listed. All right, number two, the cardinal 
marketing sin is being boring, right? Is being boring. How many times do you think a handyman has written, uh, you know, hey, contact me for handyman services? And it's just kind of boring when you can make it so much more engaging, so much more fun, so much more captivating and memorable. All right, so this is a prompt. How engaging is the content on a scale of one to 10? One being more boring than watching paint dry and 10 is I cannot stop reading. And then you're gonna insert your content. So this is, you're already gonna create your content. Let's say you're ready to publish, uh, post something on social media, you're gonna use this and then uh, insert the content that you already created, let it gauge, let chat, chat GBT gauge how engaging it really is. Okay, so I'm just gonna create something, write a intro paragraph about the benefits of a handyman. Okay, and I'm assuming this is gonna come out kind of not boring, but it's just gonna come off as generic, as, you know, nothing run of the mill. It, it's just very, it's very, not vague, but it's, there's nothing exciting about it. There's nothing engaging about it, right? It's kind of boring. So this is what we're gonna use this prompt for. A handyman provides a multitude of benefits that cater to the modern busy homeowner, offering a blend of convenience, cost effectiveness, and expertise. A handyman is your one-stop solution for home repairs, maintenance, and improvement projects. So you can kind of get the gist it's just very standard. It's standard. And that is a cardinal marketing sin is being standard. It's being boring. It's being nothing memorable about it. So we're going to take this prompt and we are going to copy it and see what chat GPT says about it. How engaging is this? And we're just going to paste that there and let it see what it says. So it's going to tell us it doesn't personally ex uh, experience emotions or or engagement, but from an objective standpoint, I would estimate this content ranks at about seven or eight. Uh, I don't know if it would be an eight, but it's pretty standard. So let's see, let's really turn it up a notch and get it to a 10, okay? So the prompt is this, rewrite the previous content at a level 10 of engagement, insert the number, right? You can insert it higher, lower, whatever you want. You can mess around with this and have fun. So I'm gonna put it at a 10 and see what it says. So I could already tell. Imagine a superhero who swoops in when things around the house start to go awry. Uh, that's your local handyman. They are your modern day home savior, seamlessly blending convenience, affordability, and professional expertise. Think of the time you want to you wanted to relax on a Sunday, but a leaky faucet had other plans. In comes your handyman, your one-stop solution, diagnosing the the issue faster than a detective on a crime show and fixing it with the precision of a seasoned artist. Can you see the difference? This is not standard. This is not run of the mill. This is, this is not boring. It's not general. It is very specific. It's very engaging. It's, it's connecting a handyman with a local, uh, with a superhero, right? He comes in, he saves time. He's convenient. He fixes everything with precision. Okay. You could see how this can be game changing with your content marketing, with any kind of marketing that you're actually doing, all right? And really incorporating this in every other part of your business, every part of your marketing itself, all right? Number three, the goal is to understand. The goal is understanding. To persuade someone, to motivate someone, to sell to someone, you really need to understand that person, right? Just like the handyman example, we're not selling to everybody and anyone. We are selling to specific homeowners that need help, that are busy, right? It, as you get deeper into who the person is that you're selling, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. But when you really narrow down who it is that you're selling to, it gets so much easier to communicate to them because you know exactly how to communicate to them, okay? So this is the prompt. I sell, insert product or service. What are my target market's demographics, needs, desires, pain points, and preferences, okay? It's gonna list out all those things to you to clarify 100% who you are communicating, who you, who you are communicating to, who you are trying to motivate, who you're trying to sell and solve their problem, okay? So the example is this, I am a math tutor, okay? So I think I'm using a lot of services in this example, but I think it's gonna be really helpful to really understand these different, uh, these different professions, these different services, these, these different businesses, okay? You're really gonna be able to understand it with this, okay? So what it says is, 
I'm a math tutor. As a math tutor, your target market can be quite diverse, ranging from elementary students to high school students, college students, and even adults seeking to improve their math skills or learn new mathematical concept. Learn a new mathematical concept. However, to better understand your market, let's discuss their age demographics, needs, pain points, and preferences, all right? Age, this can really vary, I'm sure. Around six years old to college age. Income, since you're offering a service, the income level of your target demographic would be middle to upper class families, great to know. Location, this could vary depending if you offer online or in-person in tutoring. Uh, needs and desires, right? We need to know as a math tutor, what are their needs and desires? We can't just say, hey, I'm a math tutor. I'm going to teach you algebra, right? What's, what is their goal? What is their desire, right? Improving their grades. That's really obviously very important. But what else is really important? What's an, uh, a, the deeper understanding or deeper need? Understanding complex concepts, preparing for tests, homework help, okay, pain points, difficulty understanding math. I was terrible at math. I hated math. Even in college, I took the simplest math and I still did so bad at it. Uh, and I probably could have used a tutor now that I'm reading through these pain points. This is exactly like me. All right. Pain points, classroom pace. Some students struggle to keep up with the pace of teaching in the classroom and need additional support. Confidence, right? Preferences, personal attention, flexible timing. So important, flexible timing, especially with busy families. Online or in person, really helpful, relatable, and engaging. Who who wants who doesn't want a relatable and engaging tutor? Right? You, you want a, a no offense to the, the older people out there, but you don't want a 85-year-old tutor that's gonna sit there and put you to sleep. Right? You want a uh, an engaging tutor that's gonna help you understand the concepts in the way that you understand. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Just put in your business or your product or service for this. And the final one. Always enter the conversation already occurring in the customer's mind. Already enter the conversation already happening in the customer's, customer's mind. So for example, uh, what am I going through right now that I'm uh, trying to think? Uh, you know, what this means is always go through, always use your marketing, always use your content that you're putting out to already enter what is already happening in the customer's mind, right? The customer is already saying, oh, I'm, you know, I'm having a lot of back pain. Uh, how can I fix this? Or I'm having a lot of neck pain. Or, I'm not sleeping that well. Or my kids are driving me nuts, right? That is the conversation that you need to enter within your marketing. So this is the prompt itself. I sell, insert your product or service, analyze these customer reviews and testimonials to uncover common themes, concerns, and desired outcomes. And then you're gonna insert your reviews. Okay, we want to uncover, we want to discover what is already happening within the minds of the your customers and your target customers, right? The person that is already bought your product and the person that will most likely buy your product. That's going to help you to communicate to them more effectively, more efficiently, and to sell to them easier, all right? So when we're analyzing reviews, we're analyzing uh, testimonials by doing that. Okay, so the product that I'm gonna use is a gel enhanced seat cushion, and then we're gonna copy some reviews over from Amazon. So you can do this with your with your competitors. Let's say you're brand new to a business, you could simply find a competitor in your area or online and use reviews from Amazon or use reviews from their website to analyze some common themes to uncover what the conversation already is in their head, in the, that's already happening in their mind, right? So again, this is for the gel enhanced seat cushion. So a little bit different, and then I'm gonna insert the uh, some reviews. So this is the product. I honestly just, there's no reason why I chose this product. I just chose it. Uh, and I'm gonna copy this one. And let's see, I'll copy one more because these are kind of long. Let's see. I have no idea really what these reviews even say, but we'll see what ChatGPT analyzes and uncovers for us so that we can market to this customer, this type of customer, this target audience even better. All right, so some common themes with this product itself is prolonged use. Both customers have used the gel enhanced uh, gel enhanced seat cushion for extended periods, one during long hours at the computer and the other for long daily commute. This indicates the product is suitable for individuals who spend a lot of time sitting either in an office or for a car. 
Pain relief, right? That's a common theme. That's probably why people want it for pain relief. The cooling feature, both fe- both customers touched upon the cooling feature of the seat cushion, even though one of them was not entirely sure about the effectiveness of the feature, they noted that the cushion was cooler than others that they had used before. How powerful is that to be able to use in your marketing that, hey, I know you might have tried another cushion like this and it might not have been up to your standard, but this will be up to your standard, right? Concerns, product positioning. One of the customers know that they had the to position the cu- cushion correctly to get the best results, okay? That's something that could be worked on. This suggests that initial positioning or adjustment of the cushion might be a concern for customers. All right, desired outcomes, comfort. We want comfort, we want pain relief. We don't want to keep adjusting it every single time, okay? So we want to, this is a conversation that's already happening in people's minds because they've already told us through these reviews. So we can go through, there are I think 90 something thousand of these reviews. I don't even know how many. Yeah, a ton of these reviews, 92,000 of these reviews. And you can go deeper, further, more into every single one of these reviews by using this prompt and uncovering what people are already thinking in their minds about this product or the type of product or the type of solution that they want. And then you translate that into your marketing, into your advertising, and really get into the minds of the customers. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful for you. Again, I will leave all these prompts in the description below for you to check out. Also, Dan Kennedy's book, I definitely recommend getting it, The Ultimate Sales Letter. I read it uh, constantly making tons of, you know, highlights, notes, everything you can imagine. Uh, He is a wealth of knowledge. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you're gonna like these two also. So make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.